Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon, and we are picking back up part three of 25 Signs of a Corrupt Preacher. Here is our recap. We got to know and remember the preacher's job, the calling of a bona fide servant of Jesus Christ is to prepare you to meet God. And because there are no federal, state regulations, anyone can set up a church, quote, and call it that. This is why you need to have discernment. You need to know who you're following. You need to be aware of these things, my friend, that are indicators that that person may be laboring not for the glory of God and not for your best interest, which is preparation to meet God. When you lose that bodysuit, you and I are going to give an account to the Creator. So the servant is no greater than his master, and Jesus certainly preached holiness and repentance. He preached. He was clear. If your hand calls you to sin, cut that thing off. If your eye calls you to sin, pluck it out. And what he's saying is, is that friends, this thing is is straight and narrow. You got to be serious about your eternal life. So let's go right into. Um, and therefore, let me say this: um, being serious about it means that you 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 are not gullible. You don't take at face value. Just just because someone has the thing all set up, it looks right. It may even sound right from afar. But when you examine these traditions and these things that I have given you and these 25 signs, oh, friend, you, you, you'll be able to tell the difference. So let's go. We dropped off at number 12. Let's go into number 13. Corrupt preachers will claim they have an anointing for wealth to make others rich and free from poverty. Any person that is this arrogant, which I have heard many in my 53-year journey. I I tell you, my friends, I have seen and heard some things that it's just shocking that people could be that arrogant to think that they have some kind of anointing. And if they do to remove wealth, it has come from the God of this world who is our adversary. So number 13, anyone that claims they have a special anointing to remove wealth. Um, therefore, they tell you to sow into their ministries so you can reap the harvest because they have that anointing. Number 14, now these are usually leaders that uh, advocate the false doctrine of tithing. They will refer those in financial hardship to public agencies for financial relief, even, quote, the tithers and regular Givers. In other words, they use the Old uh, Testament law of tithing to seduce you to give them the money to build up their, quote, church. But when you have a need, they send you to government agencies. Now, friends, I tell you, isn't that something? I don't think we need to indulge that one. Uh, they they take your money all year, and when you have a bad season in the year, you got to go somewhere else to get help. Oh, friends, number 15, they have armor bearers that guard them like celebrities. Hmm. Let's just see la. Let's just... Just sit on that one. <laughs> Friends, any church group where you find 10 people and three or, or four of the people guard the pastor or the first lady like a celebrity, it's time to get on out of there. Number 16, they require your tax returns to verify your income. Friends, any church group that is doing that, they are corrupt. Don't let nobody trick and fool you, my friend. The New Testament believer gives out of your own desire to give with a cheerful heart. You do not need a tax watchdog over your income. But when they demand it, they're telling you what they're all about. Number 17, they use racial references in their sermons they exalt their race and politicians in the pulpit. 
Friend, there is no place for any of that in a true fellowship. Number 18, they instruct followers to submit to their authority and the vision of the house. The only vision of the true messenger is the cross. To prep you, to poke you, to pry, to, to as the scriptures tell us in Hebrews chapter 4, provoking one another unto the day of the Lord. So my friend, the only vision is that of that cross. Anyone promoting anything other than that, you got to give them the side eye. Number 19, they preach with a strange voice while musicians play emotional music in the background, background to hype the audience. Friends, many people do this. They are corrupt. They are entertainment centers. This is why there's always something going on because they have to appeal to your flesh. So emotional preaching, the music, it's a show. That's what it is. And friends, if I were you, I would not plan on going back off into any type of fellowship that is doing such a thing. They are promoting entertainment. Number 20, they are not the leadership, be it the pastor of his, or his wife, his, his elders, the deacons. <clears throat> excuse me. They are not easily accessible to their followers. They deny access unless the request is from someone rich, famous, or or significant financial giver. In other words, these shepherds, quote unquote, they simply are not accessible on any level. You only see them in the pulpit. Number 21, they claim Christians must have a church home and they're out of order and under a curse if you don't. Friend, anyone that is attempting to put you on a guilt trip for not, quote, having a church home, they are corrupt. And you should run. You are the church. <laughs> you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. You are. And the only thing that you're really looking for is fellowship with other temples that love God and love Jesus. Number 22, they'll pass the offering plate more than once in their services. And if they count it, which I've been in services, friends, they count the money right there. And if they don't have what they want, they send it back out again. And they will begin to beat down to harass the the people present in the meeting to meet their budget and friends oh boy i have oh i didn't see some pit bulls they gonna beat you down till they reach the amount they want and they will hold up the service steady counting that money and passing that plate oh friends get your hat and your coat and get out of there number 23 they have a building fund for a thousand seat new sanctuary with only 10 current members anyone that is uh just constantly um, um coming after you for your money for a building fund and they barely have anyone present in the building that they have friends that's an indicator of selfish ambition. People seem to think that buildings matter. No, they don't. You are what matters. People matter, not edifices, not buildings made with brick and mortar. Be careful of anyone that's constantly poking for a building fund. Friends, I have seen uh, these false corrupt preachers who take on these building funds, and after they do it, they turn around and say, the Lord said, I know one in my city, turned around and said, the Holy Spirit told the pastor to take the money and purchase him a mansion, his own house, because he had been so faithful to the people. Friends, Mm, I didn't see it at all. And to this day, this was decades ago, that same church is just as dilapidated, raggedy as it was when he took those people's money. Be careful of the building funds and you ain't seen no building in years. Number 24, they do not speak of Jesus' teachings of sin or hell. Everything's fun and games. And when they do mention sin, it's so lightly, it's a joke. Friends, remember, 
The preacher's job is to prep you and get you ready to meet God. Number 25, they live lavish lifestyles while hoarding, flaunting materialism in front of those that they seduce and take your tithes and your offerings. They boast of their vacation trips. They boast of their acquisitions. And at the same time, they tell you how you could have what they have if you keep sowing your seeds. Friend, be careful of anyone that flaunts materialism. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. The true servant of Christ, they don't care nothing about no materialism. They don't care nothing about who's who. They are concerned about making sure that there is a, a, <clears throat> a true reverence for holiness and for Christ Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father except through Christ. That is their boast. That is the thing they are constantly putting in front of you. Get right with God. Not get more money, more money, so we could take more trips, so we could keep boasting and telling you how you could do what we do too. God bless you, my friends. Till next time, 25 signs of a corrupt preacher. Beware, be smart, be tenacious, and be courageous. Do not tolerate corruption. God bless, my friend. Till next time.